audience. Uh, even the people that are not strictly connected with contemporary art, I would have loved to give it to them the possibility of uh, meeting the, the, the friendly people and the good artists together with the <laughs> 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 and together with great uh, um, galleries here in Berlin. Because that's a very uh, open city here. We can find so many opportunities and uh, talents and uh, spaces. But of course, <laughs> but of course, it's also sometimes complicated to find the, the right weight, the right path that will bring you to exactly to reach the point that you really would like to to get. So that's, a, that's the way I started to work on this project, starting with the people. So for me, the artists are the real connection with the city of Berlin. The artists brought us, all of us, to discover um, where the art, the, the real contemporary art is living here in Berlin. So in the Matolion, the bunker, the formal bunker, and on the streets of Berlin, and of course in, in fantastic uh, uh, gallery spaces and this one gallery on the temple. And well, I would very much love that she and Dino would uh, like uh, talk with me a little bit about their own experience. Uh, I just, I also want to say that in the, in the way I work on this, uh, on this guy was to involve in a very constant way in the past year, like all of the 25 artists. So I send that I, I visited them in their own studio. Some of them are here. And then I started to establish a personal like working relationship with, with each of them. And with some of course who are since a longer time. And we uh, exchange like uh, I, I, I sent to them like an interview so uh, they could really take part in an active way on the process of the of the book. So I would really like to have the yeah, to, to ask you what what makes you uh, Berlin a, a special city for you for Berlin as, as artists if you find uh, what what is your personal uh, experience related with you as artists and the city of Berlin? And then why do you think that Berlin attracts so many artists from all over the world? Coming up in Leipzig, so I postponed actually leaving the city. 
But to be honest, I, I didn't really want to go to Berlin. I, <laughs> uh, I went to go to the Ruhrgebiet, which is uh, a large part of Germany in West Germany. Uh, but then I realized lots of my friends from the Ruhrgebiet already had moved to Berlin. Um, so, <laughs> um, so it was kind of uh, not a direct decision that I ended up in Berlin. But, uh, so it's family reasons, friends reasons. Um, but I actually wanted to leave Leipzig, um, which has nothing to do with Leipzig, because Leipzig is a beautiful city, uh, a lot of parks, lakes, uh, has its own artistic community. Um, it's a beautiful city to, uh, to live in, um, but somehow I needed to get away from that. Um, that's how I ended up in Berlin, not in the water beach where I wanted to go. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, but it's, it's also, I, I'm not really sure if I've really uh, uh, settled in Berlin um, ever. Um, I was very welcomed. I have a lot of friends here. My football improved a lot. Um, <laughs> I played two teams. Um, so this is um, one of the reasons why I'm really happy. And I met my, my, my wife here. Um, so I'm, I, can, I have a lot of good things to talk about in Berlin. But I'm not sure if I really settled here. Um, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I, I also want to say thanks to John Paul because he made a wonderful exhibition in the main hall. And he's an artist not living in Berlin. So I would like to perhaps ask you why why Bjork should like, maybe take the uh, idea of, uh, of uh, discovering a little bit more about Berlin. Where would you like to bring him? Here in Berlin, who would like to stay here with us for a month or this morning, what kind of amazing or why you should eventually move here? <laughs> <laughs> well, he should answer that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would give 